Okay, so we're four days into the Intermot show. Some of the lightweights have gone home, so Mark's gone home. I'm on my own, but I wanted to bring you this, which is one of the highlights for the Intermot show, actually, and that's the Motor Gutsy V85 TT, which is an absolutely stunning adventure bike. I think, for me, it's really bringing something new to the adventure bike market. And firstly, that's got to be uh, on the aesthetic side. I think most people that have got a GS1200 or sort of like into that adventure scene, they look at the bikes and you know, no one's like ogling over them. They're just not that good looking bikes. I think what Motor Gutsy are doing here is bringing a new aesthetic to it. Everyone I talk to uh, about this bike is absolutely in love with the look of it. So this is actually a homage back to some of the uh, Paris Dakar bikes that Motor Gutsy did in the, in the 80s. That's the V65 and V67. And I think this bike in particular is following some of those uh, colorways. This bike is uh, slightly lower, I think, than a normal adventure bike. When you get on a GS, sometimes you can just feel it's massive and certainly getting your legs over, especially when you've got the panniers on, can actually be quite a challenge. So, you know, to have something with a little bit lower, uh, lower seat on it is going to make sense for some of the guys who are a little bit shorter. Having said that, with that, you're going to have a little bit less ground clearance. I'm not sure of the actual uh, ability yet. Obviously, no one's ridden it yet off-road or on-road, um, so it's true driving ability is yet to be confirmed. But based on the look of it, it's absolutely stunning. Now, one of the things that Motor Gutsy have done for this bike is give it a brand new engine. Um, so when we were testing the V73 a couple of weeks ago, one of the comments that we made was that it was slightly underpowered. I'd have loved to have seen another 30, 40 horsepower. For me personally, I'd love to see about another 40 horsepower. In <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah. Funnily enough, that's exactly what Motor Gutsy have done with the V85 TT. So they've upped the, uh, the CC slightly, so this is 850 now, but it's outputting 80 horsepower, which is a really, really big improvement. And I think, um, is going to be fantastic for this bike and hopefully this is going to be the new engine that they, we see coming through in some of the different models because this engine an 80 horsepower motor in the v73 would transform the bike in my opinion make it so much more attractive so hopefully that's a real platform for the new models in the future pricing on this model is going to be about eleven thousand pound although that's not um, strictly confirmed for the uk uh, yet um, but at that price, you know, it has got some stiff competition. Direct competitor, obviously, would be something like the 850 GS uh, BMW. So Motor Gutsy really got their work cut out against that level of competition. Having said that, I think the person that looks at this, uh, looks at this bike, yeah, this is about the look of it. This is about the overall feel. And I think Motor Gutsy have absolutely hit the nail on the head.